I think I forgot to hit the record button, didn't I? Yeah. Well, anyways, there he, there she is. She flew from the tree that I remember her eating a meal at. So this has to be the female. It's got to be the female. Oh. Now what? So she went pretty far off that time. Alright, so here's another bird that actually allows me to get close. And that's this one right here. This great blue heron. Hey, hey there, great blue heron. Hey there. Very nice. Uh, I would have liked to see the osprey this close, though. Yeah, I remember this osprey was right on that, right on that first tree branch, right there, when she was eating a fish. Right there, believe it or not. But she didn't let me get that close this time. That didn't happen. But for some reason, this heron lets me get so close to him. Like, this heron doesn't even care that I'm there. That's the craziest thing. Okay. All right, I'm going. All right, I'm gonna go see if I can, oh wait, you know what? Here, let me do something right quick. Hang on a second. One more for the heron. Just need to open the bag. Here's a little piece, a little teeny tiny little piece. One. Two, three. That heron is focused directly on the water and isn't even looking at the raw steak at all. He's really great, a really great fishing bird. I did put a piece of raw steak right on the edge of that, right on the edge there, right, right there. Oh, oh, wait a minute, what are you doing? Don't go. Don't leave. You don't have to go anywhere. It's okay. Let's see what happens. Let's, let's take a look. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, focus is not so great in the fog. Fog is always difficult. You know, there is actually another piece of raw steak actually near that bush. If that heron wants to go for it. Yeah, there's so there's one piece right here, and then there's another piece on that side. Yeah, so you get the best of both worlds. You get one on one side and one on the other. All right, so that's all the raw steak I'm gonna put out for today. Like, that's it, all right? That's all right, we're good. All right, I'm just gonna put this back. And am I still recording? Yep, okay, I'm still recording here. Yeah, I kind of made a mistake by pressing 
the I think the recording stopped and I just forgot to press the button again. I was recording for way too long. Okay, so now where could the osprey be now? Yeah, I'm still gonna keep on checking. Hmm. Just disappointed in that osprey. Like that osprey is like, so strange. It's acting so strange. Like, like I've been able to get like almost right underneath her sometimes. You know, during the summer, but I guess things are just different now. And it's just going to take a while for her to get back into the normal routine again. It can't be, it can't be the same Osprey. It can't be. Like, it's got to be a different Osprey altogether. There's just no way that can be the same Osprey. It's really hard to believe that it is. It is the same Osprey. I mean, it's got to be. Oh. You know, you know, it's funny. It's like they stay hidden. They stay hidden so well, you can't even tell they're here until they fly off. That's the only thing. Uh, uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Let's see where that heron is. That heron fly off from that branch, I'm thinking. Yes, yeah, so this was actually the area where I set the other piece of raw steak at. No, you're not going to be able to see it all from all the way over here. That'd be amazing if you could. But somewhere in that vicinity right there. And there's no heron on that branch. Guess the heron flew off. And he's not over there. So I guess things have quieted down. I guess they're starting to roost for the night. I'm still determined to find that osprey. That osprey's around here somewhere. Hmm.